Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is Paracord, uh, and the reason I've got this today is we're revisiting um, the box that I recently upgraded for my mum, or repaired, and uh, I spoke a bit at the time about the fact that this handle is not in the best shape. So what I thought I would do today is I'm going to try and uh, wrap or whip the handle. Um, I have never ever whipped a handle in my life, um, so this is going to be my first ever attempt and I thought you might be interested to come along and have a look. So, uh, let's get on with it. Right, now, as I said, I've never done this before, um, but I have watched some videos on YouTube, <laughs> so of course now I am naturally an expert. So. Uh, Let's have a go at this and see how we get on. Now, I, this is the only paracord I've got, but I actually quite like the red and the green together. I think they go quite well. Uh, the problem that I have to start with is that I have absolutely no idea how much cord I'm going to need. Because um, obviously it'd be nice to cut this down to a bit more of a manageable length, but I genuinely have absolutely no clue how much I'm going to need. So uh, I think we'll just have to you know, deal with this rat's nest. So let me just get this untangled and then we'll go from there. Right, that's, uh, that's a bit better. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make a loop to start with like that and then that loop needs to go apparently about four inches either side of where you want to wrap so we've got about four inches on that side and then we've got a tail on this side about the same length and now what we need to do is hold this in place Go over the top, let's get a bit nearer the end, let's go from here, and then go through like that. And this is where it's going to get fun, because now I've got to pull the whole lot through, so, which I think is going to be, because that started knotting up again already. I just want to put a couple wraps round it just to get it started just so that it's um, not going to come wanging off when I try and pull all the cord through professional way of doing it but we'll just keep wrapping it around like this until we get to the other end Right, we're getting down to the last couple of wraps now. So, that one. Getting a, bit, a little bit awkward to pull this through now. And I think we'll do one more 
Uh, actually no, I think that's about even there. Right, let's leave that there. Okay, so what we want to do now is go over, then we need to lift up this loop and thread this end, which apparently is called the working end, back through the loop, like that. Right, now we need to pull this end, which it, so this is where the first wrap went over. We've got to pull that tight. So we need to pull, oh, that's pretty tight anyway, actually. Like that, pull that tight. And then we need to pull this loop tight. So we need to pull this end to pull the loop tight. Oh, oh, blimey. Oh, I'll tell you what, it looked a lot easier when the bloke was doing it on YouTube. <laughs> Although, to be fair, he was wrapping a plastic handle, which is obviously a lot smoother than this, so... You'll probably find I've wrapped this too tight, but we'll see. Right, let's get that like that. Let's see if we can get a hold of this. And then we can... Oh, oh blimey. Whew. Talk about yourselves for a minute. Oh, nearly there. The brute force and ignorance. Oh, I've, def I've definitely wrapped this too tight. <laughs> I think that's the problem, is I've wrapped it too tight. But never mind, it's better too tight than too loose, right? Oh, we'll just keep at it, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> these ends off and then seal them. Let's get a pair of scissors. Right, so I've got some scissors here, so we'll just cut these down. Like that. And, oh, uh, like that. Now we need to melt the ends of this, but I'm going to do that with the uh, with the soldering iron because I don't want to put a flame near the paint. But the other thing that I was uh, a little hint that I got was put a bit of super glue on the uh, on the ends, and it will just help hold everything in place. So I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue on there, and a bit on this end as well. Like that, let that soak in a bit, and that will hold it all together. So, right, well, I don't think that's too bad at all for me. First ever attempt at whipping, I'm quite pleased with that. So, there's a couple of bits there that are a bit iffy, but that's because there was a big lump missing out the handle there. It's had to kind of step up over it, but yeah, that's uh, a lot more comfortable to hold than it was. So I can uh, give this back to my mother and hopefully she'll be uh, pleased with it. So yeah, anyway, um, that was all really, just a little quickie today. Stop laughing at the back. Um, yeah, my first ever attempt at whipping a handle. So there you go. Um, I hope this was of interest to some of you and <laughs> thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.